What's up guys, Dukesloth here and today we're taking a look at Winter's Bite, the new 3.4 patch for Smite. My webcam broke, very sorry about that, we'll just have to do it like this. Just going through them real quick. We got Scotty coming up. Scotty is very interesting, she's a hunter and she has a pet which makes it very unique. Calder, the pet is always at her side in two different forms, a beast and elemental. In the beast form it can be attacked, it has 5 health points so it gets hits 5 times and it's basically dead for a while. Uh, imagine like a Kumba ult. And then the elemental form, which it ends up in when dead, or you can like send do that automatically, has uh, some stats of Scarly, like 50% of the attack speed, 110% of the movement speed, and so on and so on, details, details. Either way, it deals a decent amount of damage, uh, can body block shots, but is uh, very different in its way from other characters we've seen so far because it's a pet basically. Then we have piercing code which is basically just a slow and with some damage but uh, Calder's basic attacks, so the pet's basic attacks, deal double damage when the target is afflicted by it. We have the rune of the hunt which is basically just sending Calder out to a target and sending him back. Uh, it has basically no cooldown so you can just switch it on and off within 0.5 seconds and it moves on to the next target. Um, yeah, the, the damage scales with leveling and you get some extra stuff like you can get a, a dash attack, you can get a heal in case Calder kills something and you can give, in, get increased movement speed on rank 5. And then we have permafrost, permafrost is really really funny. Permafrost is a new form of CC where you just slide on the ground in the direction you were walking when it appears below you. This makes for some fun stuff, especially when you get like consider like five men, uh, Scotty matchups, like in fun mode of the days, so we can build an endless slide or putting people into an Odin ring, putting people into Bacchus and Toxicate. There are like countless things you can do with this. Very, very interesting CC, very strong CC because you can get people into the tower that way. Uh, gonna be really cool. And we have Winter's Grasp, the ultimate, which is in comparison a bit weaker actually, not as. Uh, potent from what it sounds like at first. You get a, a dot AOE around you and, and color, I th think. At least uh, we were told, yeah, th it does. Uh, it also roots uh, the uh, targets on, on release of the ability on initial start and it uh, makes color immune to damage and gives him full health. So if he drops down to one health and you pop the ultimate, he's got five health again for quite a while. Okay, that's it for Scotty. Very interesting. What I hate is that she's another hunter and there's another hunter after that and we don't get an assassin. I was kind of hoping for her to be an assassin but at the same time it makes sense for her to be a hunter because she basically is a hunter by lore. Uh, happy and unhappy at the same time. But, you know, what can you do? Uh, very interesting kid. I feel like it's, like it's too early to say anything about this because this kid is completely different from what we've seen so far. Uh, she's supposed to not be the be best boxer. I think that Calder will play a major role in there because he can basically block nine... Sh nine Nine, nine, nine shots before anything else happens. So let's see about that. I, I think she will be strong. Uh, I'm not sure where she will actually be played. Uh, probably end up in ADC and ADC in mid for now because her kit doesn't seem to be that strong in the jungle and Sol just need that tanky front line. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's move on. Skins, Wreck and Artemis. Amazing, I fucking love it. You've got the boar over here which is a hover, like drone boar basically, and uh, completely redesigned skin, really, really cool. If I was playing Artemis, I would get that in an instant. We have Hellrider Chiron, uh, badass skin. I don't know why Chiron needs another skin already, but it's badass, it's pretty badass. We have uh, Battle Bard Apollo. Wait, I actually missed out on that. Well, that's interesting, that's a tier two, okay. Well, whatever. The, he's got gold and diamond skins as well, which are really nice. We have a Thunder's War Raging. Why the hell does he need a TT already? Whatever. Uh, decent enough. Nice. Scotty, obviously. I can show you the card real quick. Really, really nice. Really, really lovely. We have Chocolate Chark. Ch chocolate Chark with the Chocolate Rain ability. Amazing skin. I fucking love it. A really nice voice pack. Really, really cool. Um, probably going to be in some Easter chest, uh, I imagine, but well. Bologna, the first reward for the season ticket. Um, average skin, I would say. <laughs> Yet another Bologna skin. Um, but nice details on the weapons and stuff. 
so cool in that regard. The Raskin, the Raskin is amazing. Really, really nice. Really love it. Uh, and now for the hyper skin of this patch, uh, the Ram. I, I'll just call him Ramabo. Uh, it's not his name. His name is Rama Military, but he's got the best voice pack ever. He has got. The, I'm. I'm not gonna spoil it. Just try it out. And also his ultimate is actual nukes. He's shooting nukes. It's. It's. Go play this god with this skin. <laughs> if I ever said that about any god, that's this skin. I can't even play around, but I'm gonna play him. And now we've got the weird skins. Hang on, I'm just gonna open all of them because they're weird. So, with the season tickets, there will be recolors of old skins. So, there's a silver bluish stargazer. There's a red covered ops set, which is now uh, like scarlet ops set. And a white death Loki and white... Ninja Nemesis and I don't even Golden Ua Space whatever. It's cool because you can get uh, skins for free basically. You buy the season ticket for 450 gems, which is not much, and you get a ton. You get another like a GG emote and stuff as well. But those skins are so weird. I don't know about that. But we got the gold cards here. Show you that real quick. Apollo, really nice. The, the model in game looks really nice as well. Obviously, the voice packs along with them. Um, and yeah, this is what on the season ticket I've mentioned this. Uh, there's a new avatar which came first. It's an egg. Well, uh, the GG emote, I'm gonna get that. That's really cool. Well, I'm gonna get all of this, obviously, but it's really nice. The Hindu man voice pack, which is good enough, I guess. New ward and a new music theme. Divine action. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. I usually don't even use the themes. I don't hear the end of the game music, really, but... Well. Whatever. Achievements. Who cares about achievements? Uh, some for Hades, some for Hell, some for Olaf. Whatever. Um, miscellaneous. We have... Uh, There's one good one. Like, weekly quest, blah, blah. Uh, bot difficulty. Uh, siege bed. Yeah. Undo uh, for the item store. Really, really good. Really, really good. I really like it. Because um, now, if you messed up while buying stuff, you click undo and you just do it again. Gameplay. Conquest. Remove one boar from the fireside boar camp. Why are the fire elementals still there? I don't get it. Whatever. It's a good change. It's a good change. Don't get me wrong. It is a good change. Simply because at the moment, Solo gets way too much XP. This is fine. Like, uh, you will have to consider is it worth using my ability for a single boar? Um, does it make sense for me to rotate there at that point when it's not that much XP? Is it good? Should I go for fire elementals instead? Downside is, there is no compensation at all for jungle. And I really like this patch, don't get me wrong, I really like all the skins, I like the season ticket, I like all the changes. And then there's this shit, like why? There should have been, like right below that, there should have been, we've increased the XP values on buff camps, we've reintroduced speed camp and whatsoever. Anything that helps the freaking junglers. I mean, it's helpful that the solos are not that much ahead anymore, but it's not gonna be a major change. And, uh, it's not enough a change to, to compensate for all that downsides. So, yeah, no. Um, minor cost decrease in Glorm Emerald. Hydra's Lament, uh, the uh, passive effect no longer has a cooldown. Um, could be interesting. Could be interesting. Not sure how it will play out, but it could be interesting. It could work in our favor. We will see. Masamune. Increase physical power from 30 to 50. This means against a high health target, <laughs> speak Hercules, who we're talking about later, this deals a lot of damage now. This is 50 damage plus the passive, I think also gives, I don't know. I don't want to say anything wrong, but I think it's the highest pure power item in the game against a high health target now. For a relatively low price with some movement speed on top, still no penetration, but good. Rage gets a little price decrease, still not that good. We get to why later. Uh, Rod of Asclepius gets a little buff and a price decrease. Good, good. That item was never bought, so maybe, maybe a little bit. No, no, not yet. We'll see. Healer mages are not strong at the moment. Same goes for Rod of Healing. Sanctuary can no longer be activated while casting another ability. I don't know. I guess it's Sean Kui ult or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Wind Demon. Here we go. This is why Rage is not better. Wind Demon increased healing debuff duration from 3 seconds to 8 seconds. You're gonna crit once in 8 seconds if you have like one or two crit items online. Don't worry about it. And in that case, you have the anti heal on them for all, for the whole time. And the ones where you have, be, have to be concerned about stuff like that is the power curve. It's boxing against other hunters. They will have lifesteal. If you have Wind Demon, they will have no lifesteal. That is really good. 
I think Crit might actually see a comeback with this. It would be a weird scenario where that happens because there's still many upsides to uh, Kins, but some pros are already doing calculations and uh, Hyrus Capslock is doing calculations of how Crit could actually surpass Kins. We will see. Very, very interesting. Um, a little buff for Enher. Increased f physical protection debuff from 15 to 20 on Enfeeble. I guess it's good. He's not that strong at the moment. It gives him a little more scariness. And some mana cost decrease, which is fair because everyone else pays less mana as well. He uses less mana as well. Bakasura, just a minor fix because uh, one of the jungle camps couldn't be eaten. Still in the same place. Chark! Chark is not as weak as many people think, especially Reddit. It's right, Reddit hates Chark. I'd like to point this out again. Game Hunter played Chark against Raven as a counter. I cannot elaborate the whole details here, but he did in a very important game where he wouldn't pick him just because, you know, for funsies, because he's Game Hunter, because he actually thought that he would counter him. And this guy now gets a buff and this helps his late game utility a lot because storm call cooldown is reduced to 75 seconds with no cdr and as you build full cdr on chuck in most cases that's going to give you a lot of storm calls it's going to give you a lot of silences knockups a lot of team control you're basically going to be storm calling around all the time that's really good and now we get to the what the fuck change we're expecting a lot of people to be surprised by this one yes we R. Yes, Hercules has been the lowest, lowest performing god. I'm not surprised that's happening because at the moment nearly every warrior is overpowered. This is partially due to the strength of the solo lane, but we should have rather nerfed some warriors instead of buffing Herc? Question mark? I don't know. This patch has a lot of buffs where I'm very skeptical and thinking like we could have nerfed some others instead, you know, like uh, Amaterasu. too. For mana, you know, guys are still up there and you're doing this thing and you're killing people and being unstoppable too, especially my favorite, my best friend too. Uh, but no, we're buffing Herc. Uh, base, mo base movement speed by five. Okay, not too big of a change. Increased attack, base attack damage from 35 to 39. This means a lot more damage early. Don't underestimate that. That's on every ability, every attack. That's a lot more damage. It's better clear. That's better everything. And the Physical power buff from on strength from pain is no longer 30 plus 1 per level, but 30 plus 2 per level. So he's getting more power in the long run as well. And Earthbreaker also has a reduced cooldown, which means it's going to be used more often. Is this going to bring Herc back? I don't know. It definitely makes him stronger and I don't want to see another Herc mid. I don't ever want to see that guy in like top tiers because he's fucking annoying as hell. I'm sorry, Herc players, but this guy is as fun to play against as Loki is, only that he's unkillable compared to Loki, when Loki is already near unkillable because he always gets away. But this guy you can even CC and he won't die. So, um, yeah, good rinse. Kuku Khan is getting so much, and you love this patch. Sapphire increased power scaling from 60 to 75%. All right, yeah, cool, cool, fine. Some late game power from that, yeah, sure. His ult still wrecks everyone late game, but it's hard to land, so I guess. And the mana cost on Whirlwind is drastically decreased. Uh, now this is irrelevant, in, uh, not not irrelevant, relevant, as in uh, the fact that Kuku Khan also gets power from mana, so he's gonna have a lot of mana, so he can stay in lane forever now because he can spam those Whirlwinds. Uh, I think this is why the price was so the cost was so high in the first place. So it's a bit weird. Guan Yu Conviction gets an increased cooldown from 10 seconds to 12 seconds. Totally fine. Guan Yu is very strong at the moment. If you don't know yet, you haven't watched any pro games. He is very potent in regard to his heal. Um, and with a dash and healing a teammate, he can basically get the cooldown of the heal down to two seconds uh, on full CDR, which is a lot. Two seconds. Uh, like, little. It's, it's very little. It's, it's a lot of heals. And uh, this is now four seconds. So that's fine with me, which sucks in regards to the early laning phase because his laning was never that great. It's good, but it's not that great. Uh, with a lot of solo laners at the moment just being extremely good at laning, namely Bellona, Vamana, Tur, yeah, Amaterasu. I'm going through, through the same names over and over again. Um, but yeah, I, I, I see the I see the nerf for Guan. I don't see why the other warriors didn't get a nerf in, in the same sense. Ra speed of light lifetime increased from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. That's cool. That's cool. It gives them a little more. Like Ra was not the strongest. God lately now he's gonna move around have a little more escape capabilities and he's gonna be pretty fast if you try to chase him. maybe 
Maybe he will even build the rod now. That is better. I don't know. I don't think so, but you know, potentially. Regent because of Storm. Uh, two procs no longer happening on Soul Reva. Good, good, good. Rama. Rama gets a buff. I'm not sure why. I think he was pretty, pretty balanced. Uh, I mean, sure, there are some, once again, there are some overpowered hunters. There's Chiron, who needs a nerf. There's um, Sol, who's not a hunter, but still is, is in the top tiers and would not die if she gets another nerf. And uh, plenty of others uh, that, that are stronger than they should be, maybe. Uh, so why are we buffing one that's in the place of balance instead of buffing the one that's lower and nerfing the one that's that are higher? But whatever. Uh, Astro Quiver... Really, error regeneration from 15 seconds down to 12 seconds. So um, that's good. He can use that more often. Also, the mana cost is reduced from 25 to 20. So, yeah, sure. My guess. No problem. Uh, pff, whatever. Uh, Thanatos gets a buff. What? Why? This guy is fine. Like, people are playing him in high level ranked. They, they actually are. I'm not joking. Dirty Bubble is playing him at the moment. Uh, with, a, in, with an interesting build, by the way. Hilarious. And uh, this guy now gets a base physical protection increase and an increase to, ba to base attack power, meaning he's even stronger early when he already has that, like, pretty good base damage and base stats and is basically the best <laughs> beginner base assassin. Like, starter assassin, early game assassin, I, I mean, sure, whatever, whatever floats your goat. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, that's uh, the, the tool to f fix for Ulo, which is basically a leftover from last patch. To sum it up, I really like the new skins, I really like the season ticket, I really like that concept. I like uh, the new god, I wish she would have been a jungler, but her kit is really cool. I'm definitely going to try her out, see where I can make her work, because I have no idea where she's supposed to work. Um... I like the nerf to solo. I dislike the fact that jungle was completely disregarded. There is no uh, mention of a new assassin and the next like god that was basically accidentally teased is probably also going to be a hunter. Uh, Wind is not going to see any love for the jungle. So I hope that we at least get some jungle buffs with the whole thing going down with the, with the next patch coming out, with the next god release, whatever. Because I don't see it. I'm actually switching over to solo for, for so those of you who have been asking about a lot of jungle advice. Uh, I don't know if I will go back to jungle once we get some buff. I, if we get some buffs for jungle, I'll definitely go back to jungle. But I don't know when that's happening. So from that, like for the time until then, I'll be playing solo. And this patch has basically solidified uh, that opinion, that idea. Because I, I'm not going to wait any longer hoping for that uh, outstanding necessary buff to come eventually. Well, with that, uh, I need a new webcam. Thank you guys for watching. Duke's Loth. Audi.